Now I had no idea how amazing clove is for your body. And so in this video, I'm going to share what would happen if you consumed or chewed on one clove every single day. And when you chew it, you would want to just chew it up and then just swallow it. But clove is amazing. I found over 130 different patents on clove with different applications sometimes. Uh, certain applications were for your body. Other times it was for like a natural fungicide for plants. But there's a lot of research on clove. And it's natural. One of the most popular ways that people use clove is as in like a numbing agent if you have a, a toothache because it has analgesic properties now. When we talk about the benefits of clove, we're going to be talking about the, this essential oil in clove called yugal. So you can also get yugal oil as well. But a lot of the benefits in the, the aromatic smell and taste is from this oil. And so this compound makes up like 75 to 80% of that oil. And there's a lot of other photon nutrients in there as well. One thing I like about using uh, natural herbs or spices is that you get the whole package from nature. It's not an isolated compound like they would use in drugs. And by the way, over 50% of all drugs are derived from plant chemicals. Usually they isolate them and then synthesize them so they can then patent them. But there's some really fascinating properties of clove I want to share with you. These properties are basically defense mechanisms that the plant has created over a long period of time to keep itself alive. And what would you think would be the major attack on plants if you mentioned microbes? You are correct. So this is why clove has some pretty powerful antimicrobial properties. Antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, anti-candida, anti-parasitic. So this is why it's very beneficial to have it in your mouth. Simply because so many people have an overgrowth of candida, they might have biofilms that turn into plaque, they might have some type of gum infection. So clove oil or just chewing in a clove would be something I would recommend now. Of course, check with your doctor before chewing on cloves, because I'm not claiming that this can cure you of any medical diseases, and if you do become cured, don't mention my name. Some people even use the clove oil on their scalp for problems of fungus or some pathogen. In some of the studies, which I'll list down below, you'll see that uh, it can even help roost the toxicity that's created as a byproduct from Fungus 1 study I found that if you combine this with an antibiotic, it increases the miss value by 1,000%. What does that mean, Mick? This relates to the lowest concentration of an antibiotic at which bacterial growth is completely inhibited. That means that you could use a lot less of an antibiotic to create the effect. And as you know, the more antibiotics you use, the more that you create superbugs. Because you stress out these bugs, you kill a lot of them. But then the ones that don't die become superbugs and they become resistant against that stress from now on. And they can pass on their genes for resistance to other microbes. So just like in humans, when we go through stress, uh, many times we become stronger. So if we're talking about antimicrobial, Let's also talk about antimicrobial inside our bodies. There's some research on how clove oil can help with H. pylori, which is behind certain types of ulcers, and even gastritis. Well, clove happens to inhibit H. pylori and improve peptic ulcers and gastritis and indigestion and gas and bloating. But other than that, it doesn't really do anything. And I'm being very sarcastic. This phytonutrient in clove also has the effect of inhibiting something called MAO. So it's an MAO inhibitor which if you look up an MAO inhibitor, it's used as an antidepressant where certain receptors are inhibited, so you have an increase of noradrenaline serotonin in dopamine. We also have an anti-inflammatory effect, so it's good for arthritis. There's even data on having properties anti-cancer, a specifically lung cancer. Now as far as side effects from clove oil and talking about the oil, not the clove itself, as long as you stay below 2.4 milligrams per kilogram of your weight. And that's what I like about spices and herbs and things like that. They're relatively safe, however. You can always overdose on it if you have too much of it. It can create some toxicity in your liver, people. Uh, sometimes can be allergic to it. And of course, you wouldn't want to take it if you're pregnant or lactating. But I wanted to share with you um, something that's very, very easy to do. And it's been around for like three, zero, zero, zero years in India. It's been in China. It has a long history of therapeutic benefits.